This is the Rumor Report with Angela Yee on The Breakfast Club. Well, Gucci Mane and his child's mother, uh, Sheena Evans, they are arguing now over child support. Now, she's been getting about $2,000 a month in child support, but she wants that amount to be raised. And she wants that to be raised to at least $20,000 a month. Now, previously, that $2,000 a month was based on his monthly income at that time was 24000 a month. But now she's saying that has significantly changed. She sees that he's spending a considerable amount of money on jewelry, a million dollars on a wedding. So she wants to make sure their son is taken care of. She said she can't even go to work because the son would need a caregiver to watch him. And she can't afford to hire one because it would cost more for her to get a caregiver than, you know, to... And go to work. So now, see, I don't believe in uh, blocking people on social media, but in the case of Gucci Man and his baby mama, he need to block his baby mama on social media. And I'm gonna tell you why. Why? His baby mama sees Gucci shining, and she started googling all Gucci and Keisha's outfits and how much they cost and how much cars cost and how much you know uh, the jewelry costs and all of that kind of stuff. And now she want more money. Well, two thousand is, is pretty low. Now, I will say this: I don't pretty know what the situation low. is. I don't know if he's paying for the child schooling. I don't know if he he pays for a caregiver for a sitter or any of those things. But if you do have to pay for a sitter, I know that's expensive, right? It is. Yeah, but we don't know if Gucci Man pays for that stuff. That's what I just uh, said. I don't know that outside of the courts. We don't know what the situation is. That so maybe, woman sees, so maybe what he needs to do is pay for it through the courts, and that's how it can happen. That woman sees Gucci Man on social media shining. She's reading the blogs like everybody else, and she want more money cause, simply because she think Gucci Man got it. Or it, it could be that she really does want to go to work, but doesn't have the money to pay for those things. We don't know what the situation. You want to go to is. work? You gonna get twenty grand a month and go, go to work? Well, Stop. I mean, listen. Not saying that she needs twenty thousand, but two thousand does seem like a very small sum of money if you mm. have those things to pay for, because it's it's expensive to raise a child. It can right? be either side, yeah. Right. So either we don't we don't know point. if we he's paying be, for other yeah. things, if he's paying for, uh, you know, for a caregiver or whatever. All right. Now let's talk about Kyle. Kyle has teamed up. And he's talking about toxic masculinity. He's actually getting involved with this campaign from Axe and Promundo. And here's what he has to say about toxic masculinity. I am very excited to partner with Axe this year on the second year of their senior orientation program. A very dope thing dedicated to the cause of helping young men out there um, overcome the stereotypes of toxic masculinity. Uh, Me, as well as poet Carlos Gomez, are going to be going around to two high schools to talk to young men about this and hopefully help them be more comfortable being the individual they are and not the individual that they think society wants them to be. Mm. Uh, uh, Drop on the clues bombs for Kyle. I respect that. Kyle is the star of that movie, The After Party, that's on Netflix now. That we're all in. star movie, right? Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah, don't be afraid to be vulnerable. He's absolutely right. You know, growing up as a man in America, they tell us we got to be tough, we got to be gangster, we got to be hard. If that's not you, then don't don't allow society to to make you think that's who you and have for, to be. In particular, for Kyle, he says he was really picked on a lot while growing up because of his nerdy sounding voice and his demeanor. And he said, fortunately Just, for him, there were other students and teachers who encouraged him to be himself and grow on many levels. That's good. I mean, but Kyle does have a very you know. Pick honorable face. Stop it. Well, it's, you know, that's the whole point. National Bullying Prevention Month is coming up as well. So you can't just bully people based on what their voice sounds like. Or Absolutely. It, it, it worked well for him in that movie, The After Party. If Kyle didn't look so dorky, well, that movie wouldn't have been sold as well as it did. That was a good movie. Watch it this weekend. All right. Now, J.J. Watt has given a one-year update on what happened with that Hurricane Harvey relief money. Now, here's what he said. He said, in the 12 months since Hurricane Harvey, your donations have supported the cleanup, repair, and rebuilding of over 600 homes, the recovery and rebuilding of over 420 child care centers, an after-school program serving over 16,000 children, the distribution of over 26 million meals to those affected, physical and mental health services to over 6,500 individuals, and distribution of medicine to over 10,000 patients. Now, he did say that he does have a plan for the next 12 months. That includes home restoration and disaster care management and continued assistant, assistance with physical and mental health services. Can any of the residents of Houston uh, co-sign that? Because uh, I know that that was one of uh, Trader Truth's issues and Mr. Rogers' issues. That they, they wanted, wanted to know to where that sure, money was going. Yeah, they wanted to make sure that the money was being allocated to the right people. So I wonder if you know anybody in Houston can uh, 
co-signed that. Well, he raised $41.6 million, which is Ooh. a world record for a crowdsourcing effort. So that money better be going to the right place. I hope so. I would love to know. Hey, Trey, Trey, Trey uh, Mr. Rogers, give me an update on, on that. Make, I want to make sure that money's going to the right people. All, All right, right I'm Angela right Yee, and that is your rumor report.